Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at this Turbo Wing 2.4 GHz signal booster. Now this is a 1 watt signal amplifier for the 2.4 GHz frequency. So what does this mean? Well, now basically we can get a lot more range with, for example, a FlySky without the, you know, R9M modules or any lower frequency like the 900 MHz or the 433 MHz UHF frequencies. So what we can do is push the limit on the 2.4 gigahertz now and again this thing is not selectable of the power output it will just immediately start broadcasting at one watt now does this actually amplify to 1000 milliwatts i can't really answer that for you i don't have the equipment to test that for you but it just seems like and let's just hope for the best that it will now let's take a look at some of the things that it comes with so you do get the whole module itself here you have an import and an output here and they are sma as i believe and also we have our power cable now this will need external power it will take anywhere between six to 16 volts so it can take anywhere between a 3s yeah a 3s to actually a 2s all the way up to a 4s so it's really nice that they provide this for you right out of the box and if we take a look here they also provide us with the ipex to the sma port here and this is used for uh modifying whatever device you wanted to amplify the signal for so as you can tell here now we've set that up on the end and now we're left with the ipex port so if we bring in our fly sky transmitter here all we have to do is remove one of the antennas and then just stick it in there now i highly recommend you remove the antenna that's pointing straight up and leave the one that's straight pointing straight to the side and if you can tell this is the one i would consider leaving but it's up to you the reason for that is to get longer range you need to hold your controller straight up and this antenna will be pointing straight up while you're holding it and thus giving you more range instead of having two antennas pointing up uh this will cover a lot more range in my opinion and i think it's the clever thing to do now currently for the mounting solution for this it's really nice because they do have prepared for you this is around a 5.10 millimeter circular diameter uh which i've currently designed and am 3d printing right now the adapter for it so we hopefully we can install it uh on this video here now i will not be able to test this today actually for the next couple days because we do have some snow and some very bad weather but eventually it will clear up and we will see all this test come through now let's actually take apart the module itself actually we keep this on and let's take a look at the internals here so this whole shielding or this whole cover is acting as a, as a heat sink basically to keep the overall module here very cool and if we crack this open it's just very easy 1.5 millimeter hex screw you crack this open and uh take a look inside now we also have two LEDs on the outside. We have a green and a red LED. These indicate when you're transmitting and receiving signal. And as you can tell, those are the LEDs right there. And um, what's also very important to take note of is you want to make sure that it can amplify the lower 2.4 gigahertz frequencies because that is what our transmitters are actually operating on, the lower band of the 2.4 gigahertz. Now let's go ahead and crack this open. So if we just easily pull it, it'll pop right off. And once we pulled it off, we're greeted with this huge copper plate on the bottom. Now, the reason why they did this, and it's really nice to see this, is the fact that this will allow heat dissipation because this thing theoretically should get pretty toasty. And if we take a look at the other side of the heatsink here, they're using the um, a thermal sticker, but I would prefer it if they used a thermal paste. And once I start testing this, I'll see how much the temperature can go up to and possibly remove this and just put you know the thermal compound or the thermal paste you can purchase for cpus and just stick it all over the place here and then putting it back in and seeing if that will improve anything hopefully we won't need to do that but if we do we have the option to do that since it allows us to remove this and put it back very nice and easily and we'll also, what also we can do later on is we can also add a small fan here kind of like the ones you can buy for a raspberry pi once you uh go ahead and overclock those which we can do also and um this is just kind of a cheap way to get longer range on your 2.4 gigahertz setup for example if you don't have an fr sky uh which which takes modules where you can put the r9m or the tbs crossfire what you can do with your 50 dollar radio or 20 dollar radio purchase this guy install him make sure you check your regulations before you do any of that stuff and or the correct certificates that you might need to operate it all right guys so the 3d printed design and part is complete and actually fits uh, pretty decent enough so what did i do here right now if you take a look here there it's going to be in three pieces you have this adapter this adapter and then one adapter that holds that into place right there and the way that i've done it is i just got a screwdriver made two holes 
on each side and then stuck nylon standoffs in there uh, because it's really nice because I could chop these off if I needed to because they are plastic and it's holding really really well now for now to install the mod what you have to do and again you have to remove one of the antennas I've removed the antenna that's pointing to the side which is that one right here I mean not this one I kept this one and I removed this antenna now once you do that you're left with this inside also and uh, what you want to do is you kind of just want to put tape around it so it doesn't you know cause a short circuit as you can tell you can it's metal so you can touch two of those pads and then just you know basically fry your whole board or just probably ruin your whole uh, model that you're flying so you'd want to add tape on this and that's what we're gonna do right now just grab a piece of tape and then just uh, make sure it's covering everything and you should be good to go there we go and that's it leave this hanging you can keep a little bit extra out and just hold it into place like this so it doesn't go and hit a gimbal later on and kind of get it to freeze or anything so now the wire that they also provided us with was which was this one right here as you can tell I've already connected it and uh, if you take a look at the back here I've removed the um, what is it called the uh, trainer port here and um, all you do is just it's just two screws and that thing will come off so I can route this through and that's what I did here and then uh, we can get creative later and just add a piece of tape just another piece of tape to kind of uh, keep it from not going everywhere having this wire go everywhere everywhere so let's just see the amount of space that we need I wish to be honest this wire was a little bit thicker it just seems very fragile and very sensitive which is kind of just a little bit scary for my liking we kind of twisted the wire a little bit I just want it to be relaxed I don't want it to have any extra pressure where I, which I don't need on this okay about here is good so let's just see all right so I'm just gonna add just a little piece of tape here to hold this into place just to hold that wire into place there we go now I don't have to worry about it going anywhere there we go and this is this is good enough for me and you can figure out a way to cover it so now we're gonna go ahead and install this and unfortunately like I mentioned before I'm not going to be test be able to test this right now because of the weather which I was really looking forward to but you know life isn't always fair and we have no control over the weather so there we go now we have a completed one watt fly sky transmitter here so that's really nice so i have a link to the thingiverse stuff right here below uh the testing will be in part two once the weather clears up i will set this up and um yeah there we go okay that's perfect and as you can tell this is how the final form is going to look like and then maybe on the second part i would have uh probably add uh, you can what you can do also is you can just do two slits like this and bringing a small battery strap so you can put a tiny 3s 500 milliamp 3s next to it so you can apply the power to this when you power it up and um, overall this should be good now and again I highly recommend you make sure you do not power this up without installing your antenna first or you can immediately fry it or lose a lot of its uh, power here and uh, just basically ruin some of the components that in that are inside of this so take that into consideration it's kind of like our VTX's so yeah keep that in mind do not turn this on before putting on your antenna and um, yeah overall there it is we have a nice little one watt <laughs> $50 radio, which is pretty crazy now and again, please check your regulations before proceeding with this and uh, Make sure you have everything in order before even turning this on sometimes in specific areas You're not allowed to because you can basically just block everybody's 2.4 gigahertz and just basically kill everyone's Wi-Fi So take that into consideration I haven't booted this because I am in a residential area and I will not until I go to a huge countryside where there's nothing around me and that's when I'll be booting it for the first time and actually testing it so the, to reverse the mod is very simple just remove one ipex and bring the other one back and just remove these four screws and well that's that's how you mod it it's really simple it didn't need much i'll have these on thingiverse for you so you can go ahead and check them out and if you could support the channel uh that'd be absolutely great i do have a patreon and um you can use the links down below those greatly support channel as well guys and well that's it i really hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one peace out